was very curious about uh, the life of royalty. Is it the way that we show in the movies, or is the reality very, very different? Yes. Today's different. reality very is very different. different. I know they have to go a little bit out of the way to show it because it's on celluloid, and they have to make it interesting. So, what is the most commonly uh, sort of misconception, or what what is it that that's not portrayed correctly? I think many times what is not portrayed correctly is that they are, uh, you know, just fond of the good life and not really doing very much with their uh, lives, lives as of now and very disconnected with today's world. Mm. That's, I think, a very wrong uh, thing that people have that uh, royalty is still living in the past. But we say, but say in the way that we show in the movies, was it like that before in the earlier generations or? See, I was born in the 40s. I'm coming out with my age, but uh, there was a lot that kind of mm. living style. Yes, I did see some of that. How was it like playing Mastani, a princess in real life? Very, very challenging. But also like we were discussing, you know, it's not it's not a fictional, she's not a fictional character. There's not been too much in the books about Mastani or about Bajira and Mastani. But they did have a very, very uh, iconic and inspiring love story. But just Mastani as a woman, you know, I think We've all read a little bit about her in, in, our, in history. Like I was saying earlier, when you do a film, you just get to learn so much more about characters and the struggles beyond what is portrayed. So the kind of uh, you know, warrior that she was, or what all she did to be able to be with this man. Yes. Or even just the fact that, you know, it'll come through in the movie, but there was a lot of opposition from Peshwa's uh, family, and but she's someone who sort of you know fought against all of them uh, individually, because she had so much faith in in the love that that yes. the two of them shared. Sometimes have to fight harder for many things. Yeah. I think to just prove yourself to the world and to people close to you, you just need to just do that extra, extra. bit more than men. <laughs> are are you treated differently? In today, I don't think so much. In the, and the, uh, the new generation, the younger generation, you know, treats you as uh, you are. Correct. And for them, uh, I mean, whatever your families may have done, it is what you are doing mm. now, which mm. matters. Mm. What's the greatest part of being a princess? I think it's such a privilege to have been born in a family that has so much history, so many stories, so much which has come down through generations and to have inherited that mm. legacy and to be able to carry that forward and then of course to have to be able to meet people like you <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here I'd like to say one thing you could very easily be from a royal family the way yes, you carry boys, yourself yes. a lot of boys the way you speak thank you I mean it I, mean, I think my director is going to be very happy yeah, with that. I think he uh, he made right choices <laughs> in choosing the cast. Yes. I think, yes, even Priyanka, I know her. Yes. And uh, both of you really Thank are you. the best uh, sort of choices for Bajira. Thank you. Thank you.